Hey guys, welcome to another video, let's draw together! So in this episode I'm drawing a girl having a bath, but instead of water, in coffee, because I love me some coffee. Here are some color uh, thumbnails tests that I did and I was trying out uh, which colors I wanted for the skin tone color hair. So let's start having fun and do the color part. So my idea for this character to have pink skin tone was for anyone who is watching this drawing could identify themselves. So as you can see here, when you use alcohol markers and you paint big spaces like the mark here, if you don't work fast or don't paint several layers, you're gonna have spots like you see and I do here, but I do like the look because it looks like watercolor. It's even one more texture that I'm adding to the drawing. If you don't like that look, the solution is you just have to paint several times on top of it. My favorite color to use for shadows is purple. First of all, it's my favorite color. It just works as shadows in every single drawing that I ever did. So I just use it every single time. Thank you. 
So the cool thing about alcohol markers, you can do gradients. And usually you, you do that with light blue to dark blue, for instance. But if you work on them long enough, you can do that with every color you want. If you're wondering why I do those little dots, it's because every single detail you had, it's gonna make the drawing feel more complete and more professional. I wish I had her hair. Let me know in the comments if you would like to have her hair. That pink and big hair. If you notice the drawing being different in the beginning and at the end, it's because a little mistake happened and I had to improvise and that in illustration happens a lot. So if that happens to you, just keep going, don't give up on your drawing, just fix what happened and maybe the final product comes out even better. Okay guys, this is it for this episode, please give it a like because it does really support my channel and subscribe, bye bye guys!